Sean Connery, the legendary actor, was born in 1930 in Scotland and became a household name for his portrayal of James Bond in seven films. However, his career spanned far beyond Bond, with appearances in Marnie, A Bridge Too Far, The Untouchables, The Rock, and Finding Forrester. His accolades include an Oscar, two BAFTA awards, and three Golden Globes. Despite his success, Connery's attitude towards women has been called into question. Interviews and accounts have revealed a chauvinist streak that tarnishes his legacy. In this video, we will explore some of his troubling comments and actions which had negative consequences during his lifetime and continue to impact his reputation as an actor and a man. In 1965, renowned actor Sean Connery sparked controversy during an interview with Playboy magazine. The interview touched on various topics, but one response, in particular, caught the attention of many. When asked about slapping women, Connery expressed an opinion that was considered shocking and unacceptable by many. He defended the act of slapping a woman, labeling it as justified, and suggesting that there was nothing particularly wrong about it. Connery even went so far as to say that it was especially justified if the man had tried other alternatives, and they hadn't worked. He doubled down on his views by stating that he would have no issue with slapping a woman if she was being hysterical or a bitch. Connery's comments were met with widespread criticism, and many were shocked by his views on violence against women. The actor's remarks were seen as a reflection of the sexist attitudes that were prevalent during that time. Despite the backlash, Connery never publicly apologized for his comments. Instead, he defended his views, stating that he believed in standing up for himself and that he didn't think that men and women were equal. These comments are particularly troubling when one considers Connery's status as a cultural icon. As the first actor to play James Bond, he was a role model for many young men around the world. His views on violence against women were seen as a reflection of the attitudes of the time, and they helped to perpetuate the idea that it was acceptable for men to physically abuse women. In the end, Connery's comments serve as a reminder of how far we have come in terms of gender equality. While there is still much work to be done, it is important to remember that violence against women is never justified, and that men and women should be treated as equals. In 1987, TV journalist Barbara Walters took the opportunity to address controversial comments made by the actor Sean Connery. Connery had previously expressed his belief that slapping women could be justified in certain situations. He argued that women often cannot leave it alone during arguments and may want to have the last word, repeating it over and over. This, he claimed, could provoke a physical response. Connery's stance on this issue was firm, and he did not back down from his comments when questioned by Walters. Instead, he elaborated on his views, explaining that he believed men should have the final say in disagreements with their female partners. This belief, he suggested, was based on his own experiences and observations of women's behavior during arguments. Despite the backlash that Connery received for his comments, he remained unapologetic. His views on this issue were deeply ingrained, and he saw nothing wrong with expressing them publicly. This only served to further alienate him from many of his fans and colleagues who saw his comments as misogynistic and out of touch with modern attitudes towards gender equality. In the end, Connery's comments on this issue will likely be remembered as a blemish on an otherwise impressive career. While he was undoubtedly a talented actor and a cultural icon, his views on gender relations were deeply flawed and out of step with the times. It is unfortunate that such a talented individual could hold such regressive views, but it is a reminder that even the most accomplished and admired individuals are not immune from prejudice and ignorance. In 1993, Sean Connery found himself in hot water after giving an interview to Vanity Fair. The actor, known for his iconic portrayal of James Bond, tried to clarify his stance on comments he had made in the past regarding violence against women. Connery claimed that what he really meant was that there were far more crude things a man could do to a woman. He pointed to his book, where he discussed how it's more damaging to mess with someone psychologically. Connery argued that slapping a woman wasn't the worst thing a man could do to her. Instead, he intimated that women who escalate arguments are actually hoping to be smacked, referring to it as the ultimate confrontation. Connery's views on gender roles were clear. He expected women to always be more gentle and quiet than him. The actor believed that men should be the ones to take charge and make decisions, while women should be content to follow their lead. Despite his controversial views, Connery remained a beloved figure in the world of film. His portrayal of James Bond helped to define the character and set the standard for all future Bonds. Even those who disagreed with his opinions couldn't deny his talent and charisma on screen. 
Throughout his career, Connery was known for his rugged good looks and tough guy persona, but he was also a skilled actor capable of playing a wide range of roles. From action heroes to dramatic leads, Connery proved time and time again that he was a force to be reckoned with. Despite his occasional missteps, Connery will always be remembered as a classic Hollywood icon. His contributions to the world of film will be felt for generations to come. And while some may take issue with his views on gender roles, there is no denying his talent and impact on the industry. In 2006, Sean Connery made an attempt to retract his previous comments regarding the acceptance of some level of abuse against women. He expressed that he now believed no form of abuse was justifiable. This statement came after his first wife, Diane Salento, published a revealing memoir titled My Nine Lives that same year. Salento's book detailed the tumultuous relationship she and Connery shared during their marriage. She claimed that the actor had physically and mentally abused her throughout their time together. The couple's differing backgrounds contributed to their volatile relationship, with Salento being an Australian actress and Connery hailing from Scotland. Salento also pointed out that Connery's sudden fame from the James Bond films and his larger physical stature, as he weighed twice as much as she did, exacerbated the impact of any physical contact between them. Despite Connery's denial of physically abusing Salento, the allegations presented in her book painted a troubling picture of their marriage. Salento's successful acting career and Connery's newfound fame proved to be a challenging combination for their relationship. The power dynamic between them was further complicated by Connery's traditional views on gender roles, which he later tried to distance himself from in 2006, as Salento's book shed light on the darker aspects of their marriage. It also highlighted the challenges that can arise when two individuals from different backgrounds and with varying levels of success come together in a relationship. The allegations of abuse brought attention to the importance of respect and equality in any partnership. In 1970, the actor Sean Connery met Michelin Roquebrune at a golf tournament in Morocco. This encounter marked the beginning of a lifelong partnership that would last for the next four and a half decades. The couple tied the knot in 1975 and remained together until Connery's death in 2020. According to reports, their marriage was a solid and loving one, with no instances of physical or mental abuse. In the 1990s, the couple decided to retire to the Bahamas, seeking a peaceful retreat away from the chaos of Hollywood. The tranquil surroundings of their new home provided them with the perfect setting to enjoy their twilight years together. Throughout their marriage, Roquebrune was a constant source of support and encouragement for Connery. She was by his side during the highs and lows of his career, offering him a stable and loving relationship that he cherished deeply. Despite the challenges that come with a long-term marriage, Roquebrune and Connery's relationship remained strong and loving until the end. Their partnership was a testament to the power of love and commitment, and a reminder that even in the world of glitz and glamour, true love can still thrive. As the years went by, the couple grew closer, and their bond became even stronger. They shared a deep connection that transcended the ups and downs of life, and their love for each other never wavered. In the end, Rock Rebrun and Connery's marriage was a shining example of what a loving and supportive partnership should be. Their relationship was a source of strength and comfort for both of them, and it provided them with a lifetime of happiness and joy. Through it all, Rock Rebrun and Connery remained devoted to each other, and their love story will continue to inspire and captivate generations to come. Their enduring partnership is a testament to the power of love and the importance of commitment and it will always be remembered as one of the great love stories of our time. Sean Connery, a name that needs no introduction in the world of cinema, will be remembered as a legendary actor. His portrayal of the suave and sophisticated British spy, James Bond, in the early Bond films, etched him into the hearts of millions. Connery's charisma and on-screen presence were unmatched, making him a fan favorite and a timeless icon. The actor's career spanned over five decades, and he starred in numerous classics, including The Untouchables, Indiana Jones, and The Last Crusade, and The Rock. His versatility as an actor was evident in the variety of roles he played, from action heroes to dramatic leads, and his ability to captivate audiences was unparalleled. However, despite his contributions to the world of cinema, the actor's legacy as a man has been tarnished with the unearthing of less than desirable quotes and views towards women. Additionally, allegations of actual abuse have surfaced, which further complicate his story. Connery's personal life and views have overshadowed his professional achievements, leaving a bittersweet taste in the mouths of many. While his talent and contributions to cinema are undeniable, 
His personal conduct and views towards women cannot be ignored. As we reflect on the life and career of Sean Connery, it is essential to acknowledge both his accomplishments and his shortcomings. His impact on the world of cinema is undeniable and his performances will continue to be cherished by generations to come. However, his legacy as a man will forever be marred by his problematic views and alleged actions. In the end, Sean Connery will be remembered as a complex figure, both admired and criticized for his contributions to the world of cinema and his personal conduct. Despite the controversy surrounding his legacy, there is no denying his talent and the impact he had on the film industry. His contributions will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. In the world of cinema, few actors have left a mark as indelible as Sean Connery. Born on August 25, 1930, in Edinburgh, Scotland, Connery rose to fame as the first actor to portray the iconic character of James Bond. His portrayal of the suave and sophisticated secret agent in films like Dr. No, From Russia with Love, and Goldfinger cemented his status as a Hollywood legend. Connery's career spanned over five decades, and he was known for his versatility and commanding presence on screen. He won numerous awards for his performances, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in The Untouchables. In addition to his work in film, Connery was also a passionate advocate for Scottish independence and was awarded a knighthood by Queen Elizabeth II in 2000. Despite his passing in 2020, Sean Connery's legacy continues to resonate with audiences around the world. His contributions to the world of cinema and his advocacy for Scottish independence have left an enduring mark on the cultural landscape. His captivating performances and iconic status as James Bond have made him a beloved figure in the annals of film history. Sean Connery, born Thomas Sean Connery on August 25, 1930, in Edinburgh, Scotland, had a humble upbringing. The youngest of three boys, he was raised by his mother after his father abandoned them. Connery's early years were marked by financial struggles, and he left school at 13 to help support his family. Connery's first exposure to acting came through his participation in a school production of South Pacific. This sparked his interest in the craft, and he began taking drama classes at the Edinburgh College of Art. However, his acting aspirations were put on hold when he was conscripted into the Royal Navy at 16. After leaving the Navy, Connery worked a series of odd jobs, including a stint as a coffin polisher and a bodybuilder. It was during this time that he met actor-manager Henry Bengra, who became a mentor to Connery and encouraged him to pursue a career in acting. Connery's big break came in 1957 when he was cast as a chorus boy in the musical South Pacific at the London Palladium. From there, he landed small roles in various films and television shows before being cast as James Bond in the 1962 film Dr. No. Connery's portrayal of the suave and sophisticated spy catapulted him to international stardom and cemented his place in cinema history. He would go on to play Bond in six more films, solidifying his status as a Hollywood icon. Throughout his career, Connery has credited his mentors, including Bengra and actor Michael Caine, with helping him to hone his craft and navigate the ups and downs of the entertainment industry. Despite his success, Connery has remained humble and grounded, never forgetting his working class roots and the people who helped him along the way. Born in a modest Scottish household, Sean Connery's passion for acting took root at an early age. As a teenager, he found solace in local theater productions, captivated by the stage's energy and the chance to inhabit diverse characters. A pivotal experience came when Connery won a contest to be the center stage at the 1953 Mr. Universe contest. There, he met a fellow competitor who happened to be an acting agent. This chance encounter led to small roles on stage and screen, fueling Connery's desire to pursue acting full-time. Despite financial struggles, Connery remained steadfast in his pursuit of a thespian career. He once said, I was offered jobs as a coal miner, a factory worker, and even a milkman, but I wanted to be an actor, and I fought for it. In 1962, Connery's determination paid off when he was cast as the suave and sophisticated James Bond in Dr. No. The role not only skyrocketed him to international fame, but also solidified his place as a passionate and dedicated actor. Throughout his illustrious career, Sean Connery has captivated audiences with his undeniable charm and versatile talent. From playing a rugged Highlander in Highlander to a cunning art thief in the Thomas Crown Affair, Connery's passion for his craft has remained a constant, inspiring generations of actors and film enthusiasts alike. And even today, his legacy continues to resonate, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Sean Connery, born Thomas Sean Connery in 1930, 
faced numerous challenges on his path to becoming a successful actor. Growing up in poverty-stricken Edinburgh, Scotland, he left school at a young age to help support his family. Connery took on various jobs, from a milkman to a coffin polisher, but his dream was to become an athlete. Unfortunately, a duodenal ulcer cut short his promising career as a bodybuilder and footballer. With few options left, Connery joined the Royal Navy, only to be discharged three years later due to a duodenal ulcer. Returning to Scotland, Connery found himself unemployed and struggling to make ends meet. It was during this time that he discovered his passion for acting, thanks to a friend who encouraged him to audition for a local theater production. Although he faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted his potential, Connery remained undeterred. To make ends meet, Connery worked as a babysitter, lifeguard, and even a truck driver while pursuing his acting career. He honed his craft through small roles in theater, television, and film, gradually building a reputation as a talented and dedicated actor. In 1962, Connery's life changed forever when he was cast as James Bond in the film Dr. No. Despite initial doubts from producers and audiences, Connery's charisma and rugged charm won over critics and audiences alike. He went on to star in six more Bond films, cementing his status as a Hollywood icon. Throughout his career, Connery faced numerous challenges, from industry skepticism to personal struggles. But his resilience and determination helped him overcome these obstacles and leave a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Sean Connery's career-defining moment came in 1962 when he brought the suave and sophisticated character, James Bond, to life in Dr. No. This groundbreaking role not only launched Connery's international stardom, but also redefined the spy genre. Connery's portrayal of Bond was praised for his charm, wit, and rugged masculinity, setting a high standard for future Bonds. Roger Moore, Connery's successor as James Bond, once said, he was the greatest Bond, the one who started it all, and he was brilliant in the role. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by Connery's on-screen presence, and his impact on popular culture was undeniable. In 1988, Connery won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in The Untouchables, directed by Brian De Palma. His portrayal of Irish-American cop Jimmy Malone was a departure from his suave and debonair Bond persona, showcasing his versatility as an actor. The film's director, Brian De Palma, praised Connery's performance, stating, Sean brought a gravitas and intensity to the role that elevated the film to a new level. Connery's work in The Untouchables was a turning point in his career, earning him critical acclaim and recognition from his peers. His portrayal of Malone was a complex and nuanced performance that resonated with audiences and cemented his status as a respected and accomplished actor. Throughout his career, Connery's impact on the film industry was undeniable. His work transcended genres and generations, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Sean Connery, born in 1930 in Edinburgh, Scotland, brought a unique style and approach to his work as an actor. His personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in his performances, giving them depth and authenticity. Connery's working class background and Scottish roots influenced his portrayal of characters endowing them with a ruggedness and determination that resonated with audiences. He once stated, I don't think I've ever played a gentleman. I've played tough guys, weak guys, but I've never played a gentleman. His approach to acting was grounded in thorough preparation and a deep understanding of his characters. Connery once shared, I like to do as much research as possible for a role. I read about the character's background, their history, and try to understand what makes them tick. One of Connery's most iconic roles was that of James Bond, which he played in seven films. His portrayal of the suave and sophisticated secret agent was marked by a subtle sense of humor and a hint of vulnerability, making the character more relatable and human. Connery's artistic vision extended beyond acting, as he was also involved in producing and directing films. This allowed him to contribute to the creative process in a more holistic way, shaping not only his performances, but also the overall vision of the projects he worked on. In conclusion, Sean Connery's unique style and approach to acting were shaped by his personal experiences and worldview. His commitment to thorough preparation and his ability to bring depth and authenticity to his characters have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Sean Connery's impact and influence on the film industry are significant. As the first actor to portray James Bond, he set the standard for the suave and sophisticated secret agent, a character that has endured for over six decades. Connery's portrayal of Bond was a game-changer, 
bringing a new level of cool and sex appeal to the spy genre, according to industry expert. Peter Bart, Sean Connery didn't just play James Bond, he became James Bond. His portrayal of the character defined it for a generation and continues to influence how we see Bond today. Connery's influence extended beyond Bond. However, he was a versatile actor who could play a range of roles, from tough guys to romantic leads. His rugged good looks and Scottish brogue made him a favorite among audiences and filmmakers alike. Director Steven Spielberg, who worked with Connery on Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, said, Sean was a true movie star with a commanding presence and an incredible range as an actor. He brought a sense of danger and excitement to every role he played. Connery's contributions to the film industry went beyond his acting abilities. He was a producer and an advocate for Scottish film, helping to establish the Scottish Film Production Fund and serving as the first chairman of the Scottish Film Council. Actor Hugh Jackman, who was inspired by Connery's career, said, Sean was a trailblazer in so many ways. He showed that Scottish actors could make it in Hollywood and he used his platform to support and promote Scottish film. He was a true legend of the industry. In conclusion, Sean Connery's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. His portrayal of James Bond set a new standard for the spy genre, and his versatility as an actor made him a favorite among audiences and filmmakers alike. His contributions to the industry went beyond his acting abilities, and his legacy continues to inspire and influence filmmakers and actors today. Sean Connery, the legendary actor, is known for his iconic portrayal of James Bond, but his life extended beyond the silver screen, reflecting his personal values and interests. Connery was a proud Scot, often promoting Scottish tourism and industries. He also had a deep appreciation for golf, often playing in his spare time. Connery was a passionate supporter of various charities and causes. He was a longtime supporter of the Scottish International Education Trust, which provides funding for Scottish students and organizations. Connery also lent his support to the Scottish National Party, advocating for Scottish independence. In addition to his Scottish pride, Connery was a champion for animal rights. He was a vocal advocate for the protection of elephants and tigers, even serving as the spokesperson for the World Wildlife Fund's Save the Tiger campaign. Connery's personal values also influenced his work as an actor. He was known for his strong work ethic and dedication to his craft. Connery often took on roles that reflected his own beliefs and interests, such as his portrayal of a Scottish golfer in Goldfinger and a Scottish nationalist in the name of the Rose. Despite his fame and success, Connery remained humble and grounded. He was known for his kindness and generosity, often going out of his way to help others. Connery's personal values and interests shaped not only his life, but also his career, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Sean Connery, the legendary actor, left an undeniable mark on the film industry. With his iconic portrayal of James Bond, he introduced a new level of sophistication and charm to the character. Beyond Bond, Connery's work in films like The Untouchables and Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade showcased his incredible range and talent. For aspiring professionals in the acting field, Connery offered invaluable advice. He once said, there's nothing like hard work. You get out what you put in. This sentiment underscores the importance of dedication and perseverance in the pursuit of one's dreams. Additionally, Connery believed in the power of staying true to oneself. He famously remarked, I don't think there's any substitute for genuine sincerity. This advice encourages aspiring actors to remain authentic and grounded, even in the face of adversity or pressure to conform. As for the future of the industry, Connery envisioned a world where diversity and inclusion were the norm. He once stated, I think it's essential for the film industry to embrace people of all backgrounds and experiences. This vision highlights the importance of representation and the need for the industry to reflect the world around us. In conclusion, Sean Connery's legacy within the film industry is one of hard work, authenticity, and a commitment to diversity and inclusion. His advice for aspiring professionals serves as a roadmap for success, emphasizing the value of dedication, self-expression, and a commitment to creating a more equitable industry for all. Sean Connery's journey in the entertainment industry spanned over five decades, leaving an undeniable mark. Born in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1930, he started as a bodybuilder and stage actor before landing the role of James Bond in 1962's Dr. No. This launched his career to new heights. Connery's portrayal of Bond was innovative, bringing a rugged charm and wit that became synonymous with the character. Yet, he didn't stop there. 
He constantly reinvented himself, taking on diverse roles in films like The Untouchables, Indiana Jones, and The Last Crusade, and The Name of the Rose. His work resonated deeply with audiences, transcending generations and cultural boundaries. Even in his later years, Connery continued to captivate, earning critical acclaim for his performances. His impact on the industry remains palpable, influencing countless actors and filmmakers. Creativity and perseverance were the cornerstones of Connery's success. Despite facing numerous challenges, he never wavered from his passion. He once said, I've always tried to treat my work as a learning experience. This mindset allowed him to continuously evolve and contribute to the vibrant tapestry of cinema. In the end, Sean Connery's legacy is not just about the characters he played or the films he made. It's about the power of creativity and the importance of staying true to one's passion. His journey serves as a testament to the fact that with determination and creativity, one can leave an indelible mark on the world. Without a doubt, Sean Connery left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born on August 25, 1930, in Edinburgh, Scotland, Connery's career spanned over five decades. His work in movies like Dr. No, From Russia with Love, and Goldfinger not only brought the world of James Bond to life, but also solidified Connery's status as a Hollywood legend. His contributions to the movie industry extend beyond his iconic portrayal of James Bond. In films like The Untouchables, The Hunt for Red October, and Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, Connery showcased his incredible range and versatility. He brought depth and nuance to every character he played, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. As we reflect on Connery's legacy, it's impossible not to be captivated by the magic he brought to the screen. His charisma, charm, and undeniable talent resonate with us to this day. So, let's take a moment to celebrate Sean Connery's life and work. What are your favorite memories of Sean Connery's films? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep his legacy alive. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.